Good morning, YouTube. How are you guys doing this fine day? Hopefully good. Uh, as you saw, I took care of the steel, finally. Got that done. Uh, so the, the steel in this whole room, it, except for the ceiling, obviously, uh, is done. So that's good. Um, we bought a coat rack. And I'm going to teach you guys something here because this is probably the best thing that I could have ever learned. Um, I can't, I mean, I found studs, but where this sits, it's going to be off. Uh, luckily, I had these anchors. Uh, if you don't know what these are, you push these, you drill a hole, you push these through the drywall. They go like this, and then you suck them in. So, I can't do this one-handed. Basically, you tighten this up, and the, and the anchor stays there. So that's good, uh, because I, obviously, if you're hanging a picture or something, it's not a huge deal, but a coat rack with a bunch of heavy coats on it probably should be anchored in. So that's that. Um, basically, what we do here is, instead of trying to measure from these where they go, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a template. So I'm going to cut out a template of this cardboard. Um, and uh, we will put it up against there, the cardboard, and you basically drill in. You uh, you punch on the back where that goes, and then you, you basically drill in where the circles are on that. And then we can take it down and work from there. So hopefully this will work out, but let's, let's do a little testing, shall we? That actually worked a lot better than I had anticipated. And I actually hit a stud on this one. I didn't think I would. Uh, and then on that one, like I said, I, I screwed it in. So uh, looked good. Looks good. I'm pretty sure it's level. I should probably check that. I put the level up there earlier, and it was, and it is. Doesn't look level, but it is level. Interesting might just be the I'm basing off the ceiling so that might be the case <clears throat> also it is a bit early <clears throat> in the morning if I sound like shit but that's done we got some more projects to work on let's find Molly of course she hasn't gone far I can usually let her out and she's Pretty good. I mean, I feel bad keeping her cooped up inside all day, but um, yeah. So I guess I should explain exactly what I did again. I traced out on cardboard how big I wanted it, cut or drilled where the holes go. You put it up there, you put your one screw in, make sure it's level, put the other screw in, and then you have two holes to base it off of exactly where it was. That was, I hate hanging things. I'm going to be a thousand percent honest with you. That was easy. I probably shouldn't say that because now I have a lot more to hang. But that was easy because uh, I know Burr wants a, um, a sign right above the window right there. I did show you this is fixed. I think I did in one of the vlogs. Window got fixed. Uh, we're going to put a sign up here. I have a board that fits in here, so you won't see that two by four anymore. We're gonna paint that gray, put that down in there. Uh, the steel is done. I have the ceiling, I have a fan, and I have trim. And I think this whole room is complete. I'm not 100% sure. I don't, I don't think there's anything else, but uh, the steel for the ceiling is gonna be a Pain. Oh man, it's gonna be a pain. Uh, and that fan is gonna be a pain, but we'll, we'll get it done. Not today. Different project. Uh, let me clean up a little bit and then we'll head out to the barn. So 
So it turns out my card is full on that camera, so I will have to <clears throat> explain what I'm doing here and then I'll switch my cards and get some cinematics and then switch back because this is probably, it's not all I'm doing. Uh, we're gonna go for a walk later and we're gonna go for a bike ride, so I will probably mount the GoPro, go for a bike ride, but birdhouse, that's what I'm making. All these are cutoffs of the shelves and I thought to myself, it's probably a good idea to make a birdhouse out of this stuff. So I'm going to have to get some measurements out uh, and start cutting some of these because some are a bit longer. They're obviously, each board is not precise. So we will make them precise. Uh, but we will probably do just your standard birdhouse. Maybe I'll make, I might make the bottom a little longer. <coughs> I make the bottom a bit longer and then, uh, well, I don't know. I don't know about that. We'll, we'll have to see what the plan is for that, I guess. But yeah, let's cut, uh, let's start measuring, start cutting some things and hopefully what? Side, side, bottom, two tops and a front. I'm going to be a little short, maybe a board which I can cut out of one of these if I have to, or that's what I actually bought that board for was a birdhouse. So I could cut it out of that too, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, yeah, I'll figure it out. I'll, I'll obviously explain what I did at the end and I might not even finish it today. I have no clue. Uh, I'd like to, but let's start making this birdhouse. All right, so this is the birdhouse. Uh, I didn't record a lot because the camera's both wide, so that was cool, but uh, it's not pretty by any means. It kind of looks more like a church, but it's done. Uh, it needs paint, needs, I think I'm gonna do a steel roof over it, and then paint, we brought paint, spray paint for the outside, so we'll do that, and then uh, probably put it out for birds to live in. Uh, like I said, not perfect. And I need to sand a bit, so yeah, it's it's not bad, but uh, I think now it is bike ride time. I'm gonna go for a bike ride and then go get the mail, come back, probably relax. I think it's about relaxing time. Uh, I still have all these pallets that I have to make boxes out of. I will get to it. Don't don't be mad at me. I will get to it. But um, I gotta clean up a little bit in here. I got a thousand things plugged in the wall apparently. Uh, and then we will, like I said, probably walk later. So I will record that for you. I got to charge my camera. But uh, so far, pretty good day. It is, I would say, somewhat. I I had the heater on in here because this room is insulated and it insulates the cold in. Doesn't do very well. I mean, it does well with the heat once the heat's on, obviously. But uh. Like if it's 60 out, it's usually colder in here than it is outside. Or, um, yeah, if that makes any sense. Uh, so I'm going to get my bike out and let's go get the mail.
supposed to be about. How you behave with me? Pretty good. It's cold in here. It usually is. I'm sorry. In the summer it's gonna be hot as fuck in here. Oh. 